What's up? I am Jacqueline Schultz and I am back with another review for you today. And I know it's been a little while, it took a little bit of a break, but I am back with a vengeance because today I am reviewing a robot vacuum. And not just any robot vacuum, like the robot vacuum of all robot vacuums. This is like the creme de la creme of robot vacuums. You may even call it the king of robot vacuums. Today, I am reviewing the Yeedy Vac Station. I have reviewed robot vacuums in the past. I love them. I'm a big fan. Anytime that I can find something that will make cleaning my house a little bit easier for me, I am all for it. However, when I was looking into the most recent robot vacuums, I noticed they have a whole bunch of new features that my old ones don't have. For example, they now have like a tower where the vacuum just goes into and then it self empties. So you don't have to empty it. Like it just empties itself every time. <sighs> also, a lot of the new ones are able to map out your house and like smart detect where it's been, where it hasn't been and make sure it hits like every single corner of your whole house in multiple rooms. <sighs> Anyways, there's a bunch of other new features too, but with all these new features, I'm like, I need one of these new ones. I need an upgraded robot vacuum. The first one I came across was the iRobot i3, and it had the station where it empties itself out and all that fun stuff, but then I looked at the price and I was like, <laughs> it sucked the air right out of me. But then I started doing some research and looking into some other reviews on YouTube. Thank goodness for these YouTube reviews. And I saw that there's a competitor that's actually less money and actually has more features. That is how I found the Yeedy Vac Station. So because I'm a little bit cuckoo and because I wanted to do you guys a favor, I decided to get both the iRobot i3 and the Yeedy Vac Station and compare them and see which one I think is better and which one I recommend for you. First things first, when I took them out of the box, I mean, they were relatively similar in size and in parts and all that fun stuff. The iRobot is black. It comes with the charging slash emptying station. It comes with the iRobot vacuum itself. It comes with a plug that you plug into the wall and the charging station. It comes with a manual and it also comes with a little filter that you can switch out as well as a bag to empty out the debris that gets sucked up in there when it's self emptying. The Yeedy Vac station also comes with the charging station slash emptying station. It comes with the vacuum itself. It comes with a charging cable. It also comes with screws and stuff, which I don't really know what that's for, and a manual. It also comes with the spinny little brush thing that's meant to get corners and stuff like that. I like that you can attach it and detach it because you can detach it to get all the little hairs and debris out. And the best part, which I didn't even realize when purchasing it, it comes with a water tank and a pad, meaning the Yeedy Vac station is also a mop, a vacuum and a mop in one, mind blown. Stop right there, hold your horses, because already I am voting for the Yeedy Vac station just based on the mopping and vacuuming in one capability. The iRobot doesn't have that, but just to be fair to both, I will go through with the rest of the comparison and review for you. Both the Yeedy Vac Station and the iRobot plug into the wall. The setup is pretty similar, pretty easy. Both of these products have apps that come on your mobile phone, so you can sync these products to the app and control stuff within the app. I allowed them both to charge, and then I allowed them both to run through my house and clean up any debris. There's always a lot of stuff all around my house because I have kids, I have a dog, so I let them do their thing. Some of the things I noticed when comparing the two, the first one being the battery life. The iRobot had to go right back and dock itself while the Yeedy Vac station kept going. The runtime was incredible, like way over an hour. 
Hold on, I am gonna check on my app right now because it tells me exactly how long it was running for. It was running for 114 minutes and it cleaned 829 feet. The iRobot didn't even come close. The other difference that I noticed was the suction power. It seemed like the Yidivac had more suction power and you can even control the suction power within the app. You can't do that on the iRobot. It had like pretty good suction power, but you couldn't control whether you wanted it to be higher or lower. I love that you can control every aspect of this Yidivac within the app. Like I mentioned before, it also has the ability to mop. The iRobot does not have the ability to mop. All you have to do is take out the little tray in front, fill it with water, and then attach it back on. You can even put some solution if you wanna put some cleaning solution in there, but all you really need is water, and then it mops the floors for you. And while it is in mopping mode, it will avoid your carpets and rugs, which is an awesome feature. Another great thing that I noticed is that the Yidi Vac has smart mapping technology. You can let it run the first time and keep all the doors open. It'll learn your house, the whole layout of your house, and it will know where it's already mopped and vacuumed and where it needs to go. You can also have it avoid certain rooms or certain parts of your house if you want it to. It's pretty freaking awesome. You can see it actually has a little camera on the top of the vacuum itself, which helps it with smart mapping. I know with the iRobot mop, it comes with a little cube, like a separate cube, and that's what helps it with the smart mapping, but this Yeedy Vac actually comes with the camera built in to the vacuum itself. I find it enjoyable and interesting to watch it within the app. You can actually see it mapping out the whole layout of your house and you can watch it avoiding furniture. You can watch it avoiding rugs when it's mopping. It's cool. When it comes to the design of both of them, I prefer the Yeedy Vac, I don't know. I just like the sleek white design of the Yeedy Vac and I think a lot of other people do too. I believe that the Yeedy Vac actually won the award, the Red Dot Award winner of 2021 for the style and design, so I'm not the only one that likes it. Personally, I think the iRobot looks a little bit more outdated, but that's just my personal opinion. Both of them have little trays within them that you can easily access and take out and put in. That's where the dirt and debris is in. You never really have to access it because it sucks all the debris out of it when it docks. But there are some other cool features that the Yeedy Vac has that the iRobot lacks or doesn't have. My all-time favorite has to be underneath the vacuum when you're actually looking at the bristles or whatever it is you call it, the spinny thing that actually cleans your floors. My least favorite thing about the iRobots or robot vacuums is that so much debris and hair and dust and dirt get tangled in those brushes. I've had an old one before that's just the brushes and it's like impossible to get hair out because it tangles around it. And then they change to the rubber brushes instead of it being the like silicone brushes, but the rubber ones aren't as good. The Yeedy Vac fixes this problem. First of all, you can take that little round circular cylinder brush thingy out. I have no idea what it's actually called, but you could fully remove it. You can even take off the sides if you want to untangle hair from it. The best part is it has brushes and it has the rubber part. So I feel like it gets more than just the rubber alone or just the brushes alone. It has everything. Not only that, my absolute favorite part is you can actually take the brushes or the rubber part completely off clean it, and then put it back on if you need to. So it never gets so gunked up and full of hair and dirt and grime that you just can't get off or can't remove. I've actually had to replace one of those in another vacuum before. I don't foresee that being a problem with the Yeedy Vac. Plus, if that's not reason enough for you, the Yeedy Vac actually even comes with a little tool built into the bottom that you can use to clean out the brushes and stuff or cut tangled hair that might get wrapped around it. It really did think of everything. Also, you can remove the little mopping pad easily. It's just Velcro, so you can take that off when it's dirty, dump it in the washing machine, take it out, and put it back on when you're ready to mop again. After testing both robot vacuums, I personally have to say I am giving the Yeedy Vac 
my stamp of approval. Not only is it a cheaper option, but I also think it is sleeker looking and it has way more features than the iRobot i3 model. I am going to be putting the link to the YD Vac station in the description so you can go check it out there. I'm also going to be including it in my Amazon shop. So I'll put the link to my whole Amazon shop because that's where you can look at all the other products I have ever reviewed as well as all the other products that I just love and I use on a day to day basis. If you enjoyed this video and you like review videos, then you may enjoy my channel. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button. You could turn on notifications. You can like this video. You can do all that good stuff that we creators ask you to do here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for the next review. Bye.